Vegas Fest 9 continues to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. We're highlighting the work of people who are bringing culture to our community. Madison Guerrero is an art student at UT Permian Basin, and this young artist is already making her mark. If anyone can picture doing what they love. I love art because I feel like it's a... Um... Not just a stress reliever, but it's also just something where I can tune in and I can focus and nothing really matters within that moment. It's Madison Guerrero. I realized I wanted to become an artist more or less when I was probably 10 years old, but always kind of pushed it aside because I was like, that's not going to pay the bills. But it came to the conclusion, I was like, no, this is what I love to do and I should do something I love every day for the rest of my life. She picks up some of her inspiration from her Hispanic heritage. Yes, I do, just because I feel like the westerny and the, I guess, like Mexican side of it, I feel like that feel kind of goes into some of my art. And her talent seems to have rubbed off from family. My dad and my grandpa do draw. They've, they've been drawing since forever too, so it's just kind of been down the line, passed through. She also pulls inspiration from her aunt. And her name is Tina Fuentes, and she was the art director at Texas Tech for a long, long time. And she's very known in Santa Fe. We have a very um, artistic family, so she's definitely somebody that inspires me. It's her vision for other women like her to draw a path for their future too. I hope to bring awareness more to female Hispanic artists. I think we need a lot more Hispanic female artists out there. And it's here in art class at UT Permian Basin where she feels free to express herself. They always never try to restrict you from, you know, your mind and how you want to create your art and who, like, how your art represents you. So definitely they are always encouraging you to be the best not what they want you to be, what you want to be. Madison is definitely making a mark, and not just on canvas. You may have seen her creation driving around town on the health department's mobile unit. Some family friends recommended me like the ad, like, hey, you should do this. This would be a really great opportunity. And I was like, hmm, not really a graphic design person. But I still ended up doing it because why not just try it out? So when I got picked for it, I was like, oh my goodness, like, this is big, this is cool, my name's getting out there, that's what I want it to be, so this is just like another step to getting out there and getting my name put out and hopefully becoming bigger. And she's already laying out plans. A mural, maybe in a big city, or maybe just for the university, just a mural for sure. I would love to do that if I could do stuff for our community, whether it's paint the library or just something like that. I would, I would definitely love to do that. Not just for me to sign it at the bottom, just to know I'm helping my community bring art into our community. Madison also envisions a space for artists just like her. I would definitely tell them, do not hold yourself back. Do not give yourself limits because as female Hispanics, we can do it. Madison tells us in the future she would like to become an art professor right here at UT Permian Basin. Also, she can help other artists flourish.